today we're gonna have a look at the electronic audio experiments longsword uh, but before we get started please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already because that would help me a lot and uh, if you want to score some of my gem tracks and or tabs for licks you can steal you can find those on my patreon page or become a youtube member by clicking the join button down below and now onto the pedal if you've been watching my channel you may have seen uh, my demo of their dagger uh, which is the single pedal version of this pedal now this is a little more extensive um, because it has a extra eq knob uh, and a built-in boost and some extra switches so it has a James Bexendall EQ and after reading up on it, I still have no clue what it means. So <laughs> if you want to know what it means, best Google it yourself because I'm lost. Um, basically that EQ is the low and high control and there is a separate mid control, which isn't part of that James Bexendall EQ, I think. Um, which lets you shape the mids and um, if there is a mid hump if you want a mid hump but the mid hump is a little hissy which they sometimes can get uh, there's a shift switch right here and if you switch that to another setting it changes the frequency the mid control is controlling to another frequency band so you get several options for your mid hump then there is a switch for clipping diodes i think mosfet then the middle position is no clipping diodes and then a third which i forgot i'll put it here in the uh, screen so three clipping options then there is drive volume and boost of course because it has a boost and it's 20 dbs of boost uh, it's a front end boost so it runs into the drive but it doesn't work as a separate entity <laughs> because it only works when the pedal is engaged i would have loved to see it like as a separate boost you can use other use it to boost other pedals as well um but you know i shouldn't nitpick because this pedal is super versatile as well all right well let's just get right down to tones because like i said it's very very versatile and uh you can go from like cleanish overdrive-ish sounds to really heavy stuff and it's lovely so here we go clean tone first parts caster sunbear pickups um, going into the silk tone amp into the tube amp expander into the interface and this is the long sword Let's increase the gain to about 10 o'clock. All right, so the EQ is set pretty high, actually around two, three o'clock on both low and uh, high and mid is set at noon and at noon it's neutral. So you can cut mids or add mids. Um, so let's go through these ones first. Add some mids. Three o'clock. Now, if 
if I use the switch, shift switch, it sounds like this. Down. Cutting the mids. Fantastic. Um, more gain. Okay, so let's set the miss back at noon and then EQ at noon as well. Fuzzy and... So there is such a wide range of sounds possible with just the EQ and I, I think it's brilliant that they have the mid operating separately from the lows and the highs so you can really fine tune it. And it also allows for different ways to get that mid hump because if you lower the lows and highs um, before noon, it will have more mids. And if you crank them past noon, it'll be a more scooped sound. And you can scoop it even more with removing some of the mid frequencies with the mid control or boosting them back in to get a fuller sound. Well, it, it's endless possibilities. Um, Let's try to boost while well, the gain is still at a fairly reasonable level. Uh, I like this tone very much. So, set at zero, there's already a little bit of boost going on. Noon. Clipping diode switches in the up position. Let's set it to the middle position. And then the down position.
back to the middle position and gain is crank. <laughs> Okay, um, electronic audio experiments, long sword, let me know down below in the comments what you think. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel, uh, because that would help me a lot. And um, if you want to score some of my gem tracks and or tabs for licks you can steal, you can find those on my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.